Hello, and welcome to the Network Defense and Countermeasures Competency. This competency aligns with course number ITN 404. In this competency, you'll design a secure enterprise network based upon the needs of an organization. This will be your first try at desi designing an entire network, and it'll be a nice lead-in to your uh, capstone course in which you'll do the same thing pretty much with in teams. My name is Patrick Coyle. Uh, I'm a Pierce College Professor of Information Technology and Security. I've been at Pierce for about 10 years, uh, since 2006, and before that I had extensive experience in the information technology and security field in jobs ranging from a network configuration tech to a corporate security manager. There's three objectives in this competency. The first is to design, configure, and implement defense measures on a wired network, including a list of hardware and software needed, an IP addressing scheme, routing and switching plans, access control lists, intrusion detection and prevention plans, firewall plans, and remote access plans. The second objective is to design, configure, and implement defense measures on a wireless network, including a list of hardware and software needed, a secure wireless architecture, and based on accepted best practices for secure enterprise wireless networks. And finally, your third objective is to design a security policy. Uh, you're going to design the template, and then you're going to use that template to design three sample security policies. The textbook for this competency is a guide to network defense and countermeasures, uh, and uh, this uh, book is available to you through Vital Source and there will be links to it uh, throughout the competency. Some helpful hints as you go through this competency. Make sure that you read the assigned textbook and competency readings closely. Uh, they'll give you good guides as to what uh, you'll be doing as you design this network. Uh, you'll also use these readings in the format of competency quizzes at the end of each objective. At the end of each objective, you'll have a competency a, an objective quiz of five multiple choice questions. Uh, you have to provide the correct answers to at least four of them in order to move on to the next objective. Uh, when you're completing your final assessment, you'll also use the textbook readings and the competency readings, so keep them close at hand. In addition, you want to be sure to download the instructions and pay close attention to the requirements. Uh, also, download the rubric so that you know how you'll be graded on this. Keep those two documents handy as you go through your final assessment so that uh, you don't go off track and go off into an area that maybe you won't be graded on or it's not included in the competency. Uh, there's nothing worse than spending hours working on a final assessment to find out you're on the wrong track. This also brings up another important point. Uh, ask questions. Uh, if you have any questions at all throughout the competency, please contact either your competency coach or your competency mentor. Uh, we're anxious to hear from you. Uh, better to ask questions sooner rather than later so that you don't have to go back and redo all your hard work. So that's about it. Uh, best of luck. It's great to have you here. Uh, you're getting close to the end of your competencies. Uh, so you want to uh, make sure you buckle down, stay focused, and get through this competency as quickly as you can so you can move on to the last few competencies that you may have. And don't forget, the harder you work, the luckier you get.